Another video and you still find me sitting on my balcony. Well, not still sitting on my balcony in the sense that I'm still sitting here since my last video, but uh, again sitting on my balcony because the sun is shining despite the fact that apparently a big cloud of volcanic ash is looming over Europe. Our topic for today is protein. Um, what is protein? How do you use it? What kinds of protein should you use? Uh, and when should you use them? And so on. Um, before we get started about this topic, first of all, a big shout goes out to Xenon, who gave me the idea for this video, and to Canadian, um, who spread over on the forum, gave me a lot of information about what I should include in this video. So, thanks to both of you. The other thing I'd like to mention before we get started is that um, because I have a 10 minute limit for videos on YouTube, I um, had to split this video into two parts because when we talk about protein, there's a lot of stuff we have to cover. In the first part of this video, which is the one you are watching now, we are going to talk about the theory behind protein, what protein actually is. In the second part, we are going to talk about how and what kinds and when you should use protein. So if you're not interested in all the theory behind protein, turn off this video right now and wait for part two. Still there? All right then, let's get started. So here we go. Proteins are molecules that not only make up most of what you see as the muscle um, on your body, they are involved in a lot more stuff that goes on in your body. For example, proteins also help in forming bones, blood, skin, cartilage, hair and a lot more. So that basically you could say that without proteins your body would be a helpless little organic puddle. Now the proteins themselves your body builds by putting even smaller molecules called amino acids into chains. And the way your body puts these amino acids into chains depends on what kind of protein for what function your body wants to build. Um, you can kind of compare this to our alphabet which uh, has 26 letters and depending on how you string these letters together you get different words and each of these words has its own meaning and function. The tricky part about the amino acids is that there are 20 different kinds of amino acids the human body uses to build proteins and 11 of them it can build itself but for the other nine it has to rely on the foods you eat and because of these those nine also are called essential amino acids now when your body digests foods it breaks down the proteins it finds in that food to their amino acids and then uses those amino acids it gets in that process to build the proteins it needs itself. Now, when those essential amino acids are lacking from your food, your body can't build certain proteins and therefore those proteins are not there to fulfill the functions they are needed for in your body. You might guess it that um, the proteins responsible for building muscle depend on those essential amino acids, so therefore you can conclude that without those essential amino acids, no building of muscle. It's pretty clear then that when we work out and want to build muscle, we better make sure we get all those amino acids we need for that. The most convenient way to go about that is by including into our diet what are called complete protein sources. And they are called complete protein sources because they come with all the essential amino acids we need. Examples for complete protein sources would be uh, meat, milk and eggs and of course the protein powders most of you have probably already heard of. If you are a vegan, things become a bit trickier here because many plant sources are not complete protein sources or if they are, 
um, they only have very limited amounts of some of the essential amino acids. So if you are a vegan, the best thing you can do is to include a wide variety of protein sources into your diet to make sure you have complete coverage of all the amino acids you need in quantities um, that are necessary. Examples for um, plant protein sources would be nuts, beans, uh, soybeans and quinoa. To conclude this video, one final word about the soy we just mentioned. There is some scientific research that indicates that soy may limit uh, production of the male hormone testosterone, which plays an important role in building muscle. The research here is still not conclusive, um, but it is one thing you might uh, want to look into and do some research on for yourself. And this concludes this video. I thank you for uh, sitting through all the boring protein theory with me. Um, you'll see us again in part two of this video where we talk about all the practical applications of it. Until then, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Until then, bye bye.